everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Will the Dragon Whisperer, and this I picked up at today's Repticon. I'm sorry I haven't posted it in a while, you guys, but I actually have been working on getting everything together because I vended at this Repticon. I was a vendor. It was my very first show. I sold some animals. I sold some enclosures, and I picked, this, picked up this amazing beast. I have not came up with a name for her yet, so you guys, please, in the comments section, let me know if uh, you have any suggestions for a name. This is a female Savannah Monitor. She's about a year old, and she is puppy dog tame, and I love her already. And uh, I've held her a lot. I've set her up in a nice new enclosure, and uh, this girl is amazing. Um, you know, this girl could take off a finger if she wanted to. She is uh, very big. Very active, but uh, she's a sweetheart. So we're gonna put her back in her enclosure. So you guys, I did my first Repticon this weekend and it went amazing. And I had a personal experience that I wanna share with you guys that was really, really amazing. Um, a number of kids and families came up to the booth, uh, specifically yesterday and today, three or four really nice families came up and said that they were viewers of the channel, they subscribed, they followed me, and uh, they commented on my com content and how much they appreciated what I did, and that's why I do this, and that meant so much to me, but the really ultimate awesome experience of my whole weekend at my first reptile show was when I received a little tap on my shoulder yesterday when I was working my booth and interacting with customers, and I turned around and this gentleman introduced himself as Pedro, and he was the caregiver of another gentleman that was disabled, that was in a wheelchair, and uh, he introduced himself as Carl. And they proceeded to tell me that Carl was a huge fan of my channel, and that Carl got really excited whenever I posted videos, and that a lot of times Carl would watch my videos one after another after another. And uh, Pedro had been Mr. Carl's caregiver for a while, and um, they were with another young man named Luke Mon Muhammad, who was a very well-mannered, very well-behaved, very well-spoken young man. And uh, it was one of the greatest personal experiences of my life um, meeting those guys. And I want to send a big shout out to Pedro and Mr. Carl and Luke Mon. I love you guys and you're why I do this. Um, uh, every time I saw Mr. Carl after that, uh, he was tooling around in his wheelchair, uh, checking things out of the reptile show, and he would always yell out, Dragon Whisper! And um, that, I mean, there's no amount of money or, or anything that, that could possibly um, mean to me those kind of interactions. Um, like I said, for me personally, that was one of the most powerful and, and heartwarming experiences I've ever had in my life. And I'm sorry to ramble on a lot in the video, you guys. Uh, uh, sorry the intro was so long, but I really wanted to share that with you guys. Um, big shout out to all the people, uh, Marcus Hayes, Jordan, um, Noah, all the people that came by and purchased from the booth, Mr. Jordan Gray, um, Juan, uh, all you people were so awesome. Bill Chappelle, um, there was a gentleman today and his wife that purchased a chameleon, and they were so awesome. And I, I really apologize, I don't remember your name right now. I believe it was George. But a uh, big shout out to everybody that came by the booth this weekend. It was a super big success. And um, I just want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. So we're going to get right into the video. Some footage of me working the booth. Some footage of the show. Um, I didn't get the typical Repticon video where I, where I go around and show all the booths. It's really just my experience at my first show. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. And we're going to jump right into it. Here we go. Let's hit the road. Rose. Well, we know we don't need Rose. Okay, you guys, we are here at the Winston-Salem Repticon, uh, my first ever vendor show. As you guys can see, a lot of people are already in here getting set up. It is a big, nice, beautiful venue, and this is going to be the future setup of Tar Hill Exotics. We have a lot of room behind us. We're here on the end of a row uh, back in the back uh, wall, and I think it's going to be awesome. So we're about to start getting the enclosures and uh, some things in here and getting set up, and I'm super excited. It really felt surreal pulling my car into the venue to get set up for the show. It was just a little over a year ago that I attended my first reptile show I'd ever been to in my life. So to be getting set up to be a vendor at my first show really felt incredible. I was really nervous and a lot of anxiety, but I was looking forward to the weekend and really looking forward to interacting with people and sharing my animals and my passion for reptiles. 
Okay guys, we're here at the 2021. This is in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, Repticon. Um, a fair amount of vendors here, but this is definitely not as big of a show as some of the other shows I have been to. And um, But there are some of the same uh, vendors that are usually here. Uh, Reptile Passions, um, Royal Reptilia.com is here. Um, the, the feeder guys that are always here um, with their setups. Um, Cowajunga's here. This gentleman, I don't remember what the name is, but I will be doing a Repticon video later in the day, but this gentleman is always at the shows and he has incredible ball pythons. We got Cold Blooded and Bizarre from Charlotte is here as well. We'll be checking them out later. We have Classic Jurassic back here in the back. We've got a booth over here, but I'm not really sure who they are. We're gonna go and check them out later on. And then uh, we have SBS Scales by Sky. Um, here, like I said, we're gonna be doing a walk around reptile tour video, but I just wanted to show you guys briefly at the show. And then over here in this corner is a really cool vendor called Tar Hill Exotics. Um, but no, you guys, this is my setup. As you can see, I've got my puppy with me today. The sign, I'm really excited to be here at my first Repticon. I do have my uh, YouTube videos set up playing on a small TV. I've got my t some of my tanks here. Unfortunately, because of my space, I was not able to bring able to bring all my tanks. Um, there's my nice sign back there in the background. Uh, I've got a Sunfire uh, retic here that I brought to the show. Excuse the water marks on the glass, but these are older tanks. And I also have a beautiful piebald retic here at the show. Got my stickers out. Got some chlorhexidine bottles for sale. Got some panther chameleons for sale. Some boys and some girls in there. And sorry about the lights and the glare, but then we also have a veiled chameleon. Uh, Marley brought her to the show, see if we can find her a new home, but if not, we'll happily take her back home. We have our crested geckos set up with our pricing on the table, so in our big, nice custom enclosures. So this is our setup. Everything looks nice, and um, we are here at the show for our first big show, and super excited, and we'll see how it goes. Hey, we're here at the Repticon in Winston-Salem 2021, and this is my man Chance here at Tar Hill Exotics, and he has Gandalf hanging out on his shoulder. Um, they're getting acquainted, and uh, Chance is really enjoying his uh, time here. He's here with his family uh, here at the Repticon in Winston-Salem, and uh, we're so awesome to see our animals interacting with the, the customers and the people here at the show. This is uh, really awesome, and a big shout out to Chance and his family and Gandalf. This is the Dragon Whisperer, and I'm here at the Repticon, and thank God this gentleman, and your your, your store, sir? We're A&J Reptiles. A&J Reptiles. I'm here with the gentleman here at A&J Reptiles, and this is a huge female Savannah Monitor, and just look at this girl, how docile she is. I mean, she's trying to move around, but, you know, you can see she is not bitey. She is not aggressive, um, and this is what Rex is going to be like someday. Um, this is what you can have if you work in a... Uh, Spend the time to tame down big monitor lizards. This is what you can have, and I hope Rex will be like this one day. And I really appreciate this gentleman giving me the opportunity to hold this animal. This is the largest lizard I've ever had in my hands. And these, these guys can do serious damage to you. Oh, yeah, serious bite force. And she's getting not happy right now at all. But uh, this is a beautiful big female savannah monitor. So we are here at the 2021 Repticon here in West Salem, and we have... Pedro. Pedro and ooh, Carl. Carl. Pedro and Carl here, and they are subscribers, and they actually walked up to me and asked me, was I the Dragon Whisperer? So I'm so excited to have some fans of mine here at the show. They were super excited to meet me, and I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate your support. Thank you, guys. I hope you love the show. Thank you so much. And this, once again, is Pedro and Carl. Awesome. Big shout-out to you guys for being fans of the channel. Thank you so much. chance and he is holding Leonidas the little piebald and it's so awesome to see children interact with animals and their families and learn about things and overcome fears and stuff at the show it's one of the things that make my day this is uncle right here taking it all in and uh, that's what I live for and that's what I do this for 
You guys, this is Smog, and uh, Brooke, his owner, is being so nice to let me hold him. They're here at the Repticon here in Winston-Salem, but, you know, I hope that Groot one day will be like this. You guys know the struggles I'm having with Groot right now, but this is beautiful. Is it Red Andrew or is it just Red? Just Red. Red, mm -hmm. Tegu, and um, and his name is... Smog. Smog. Oh, like, the, like Lord of the Rings dragon. You got it. So, mm -hmm. Smog is adorable. What a cuddle bunny. He's just, like, snuggling with me right here. <laughs> And I hope this is what we can achieve one day with my Tegu. So everybody on the channel, stay tuned, and we'll see if Groot will turn out anything like small. Now this is a 4 by 2 by 2 enclosure that I built for the show. This enclosure was purchased today, and I'll be delivering it later in the week. It has a, a hardwood veneer on the outside, 5-inch um, vents um, that go through... Um, black on the inside. I uh, tried to match them kind of to the outside, but it didn't come out as good as I like. But has the uh, ceramic uh, light fixture on this side with the coverage of the cage, and then a 24 ounce, uh, 24 ounce, 24 inch UVB fixture um, in the vents there on the other side. I am going to be adding a vent to the back for this gentleman. Um, it has multiple supports across the top to keep from any kind of sag occurring. Uh, these are stackable. And they have the 3 16 sliding glass tempered. You can see the tempered stamp there um, from the factory. I have to send out for this glass uh, really thick. You're not you're not going to get animals to go through here and no, no bending or flexing like you would on acrylic or plastic. And this glass isn't going to scratch as easily. Uh, perfectly, basically not going to scratch like the acrylic. And the brushed nickel door pulls. Um, so everything came out really great. Uh, and also like with my other enclosures, all the conduit, all the wiring is run through conduit and through very small holes in the back. So uh, there's no wiring exposed uh, for your animals to get up and wrap around if you're going to use this for snakes. I'm also going to be installing a radiant heat panel and, uh, and a thermostat uh, will be mounted on the side as well um, before Mr. Hayes gets to the enclosure. But uh, this was one of the enclosures that I was uh, able to get... Um, able to get sold at the show this weekend and it came out really great and i think it's going to make a great enclosure for mr hayes once again you guys this is will the dragon whisper super excited for you guys to have seen this video it's been a long time coming in a big dream of mine to be at a reptile show i hope to be at charlotte coming up in october and also and raleigh in the middle of october i'm also going to put my store Tar Hill exotics up at the end of the video so if you guys want to go check me out on morph market and just Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, all the support. Can Please continue to spread and share the channel. Uh, we just broke the 650 subscribers mark, so uh, 65,000 views. So we're getting there, guys. Like If we can just get to that 1,000 view mark where well, the channel can get monetized and I can start really being able to invest some money in building up this, this thing and making these videos better and bringing you guys more content. So please share the channel. Help me and help me take care of my animals. I love you guys. I wish there was more I could do for you. But I'm out.